Hello Aquarius, this is you versus them for the 5th through the 11th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. Thank you. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarius friends today. <laughs> Let's see what you guys have just gone through here. What have you been dealing with? What has Aquarius been dealing with in the past? Hmm, completing cycles and starting anew. Something that you guys have accomplished. And um, I think you're feeling pretty good about it. I think that you are ready to start over or start something new here. Um, I think you're feeling very proud of yourself that, um, you know, certain things, certain situations you have gotten through and you're, you're ready to move on. You're ready to, to do something different here. I feel like some of you are traveling even. Okay. Let's see what the other person has been dealing with here. Hmm, getting over some hurt, trying to move past it, trying to think logically about you know things that have happened, keeping uh, mental notes even, I feel, um, on the things that have gone on in the past. Okay. We're in there basically. Okay. Let's see what, what we have here. The King of Pentacles and the Empress. Hmm. Thinking about the separation. Thinking about the separation here. Okay. But yeah, this person, um, I feel, is still kind of holding on to things. Um, lots of cars jumping out for you guys. Thinking about the fact that somebody walked away here. Maybe um, you guys walked away initially. And then, you know, this person felt like it was best for them just to leave it alone. Okay. Let's see what's keeping you guys apart, keeping you from this person here. The Ten of Cups. Huh. Maybe you guys feel like this person can't, they're not the one that would, you know, that could make you happy. Maybe you weren't happy with this person. You weren't being fulfilled emotionally. Did not feel like that, you know, you guys could, could build a solid, um, foundation for a relationship okay hmm let's see what's keeping them from you what's keeping them from Aquarius here what's keeping them from Aquarius six of wands either they feel like they can have success elsewhere or they feel like you guys are um, maybe they feel like you're dating that you're looking for other people that um, you're traveling even that you live far away from them or either they just feel they don't have the confidence that it can work out okay Leo energy there let's see what's currently going on for you guys or either they want to start dating they feel like you know there's something better out there for them it's coming in for Aquarius, Four of Swords, rest and relaxation, um, meditating, trying to figure out, you know, what your next steps are. Because there again, you guys have completed something here and I feel like, you know, your ultimate goal is to find your ultimate happy. You know, and you're just really not sure if this person is somebody that you can have that with, okay? Let's see what's currently going on with them. The Knight of Swords. Ooh. Really want to address some issues about what's what's going on or what has happened before in the past, I feel. This person's kind of stuck. Um, I feel like there's there's something that they want to know. There's something that they want to tell you as well. Okay. I kind of feel like this is you guys down here. But, you know, the, it can go vice versa. But I'm going to stick with, with you guys being up here. But um, there's somebody here that wants to tell some truth. They, they're, they're eager. They're in a hurry. This person probably, you know, they don't think a whole lot before they speak is what I'm getting here. Okay, and it can come off kind of aggressive. And, um, you know, it, it probably is not received well. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what the influence is for you guys here. The five of swords yeah I feel like you know a lot of times when you guys talked or when you had had disagreements maybe you could not come to an amicable um, 
you know, decision or, you know, agree to disagree. Maybe there was a lot of fighting, a lot of bickering and, you know, nobody really, you know, backing away and saying, okay, you know what, you know, you have your opinion, I have mine, you know, and, and we'll just agree to disagree. Let's move on. Okay. Maybe you guys could not get there. And it was like constant, like bickering, fighting and, you know, that sort of thing. So let's see what's <clears throat> influencing them right now. The Four of Wands. Hmm. I, I feel as though this person is really looking for a relationship. They're really looking for a relationship. Um, and I don't think that... I don't think that they, you know, if they're dating, they're dating with a purpose. If they're trying to date, they're trying to date with a purpose because their ultimate goal, I feel, is to be in a committed relationship. They want a family is what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, we have Aries, Leo, Aquarius energy here. Um, maybe Gemini as well. But I feel like their yeah their ultimate goal is they want they want stability, they want um, someone that they can call their own. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what's coming in for you guys. What's coming in for Aquarius? What's coming in for Aquarius? Aquarius, Four of Cups, very stable energy. I think you guys are just kind of tired. Okay. Um, you're not sure whether or not you want to be in a relationship right now. I think you just kind of want to take some time out to kind of think about things, to kind of like, you know, just get some stability, some some sereneness back in your life. Because I get that this, this relationship was kind of tumultuous here. Okay. And so now you're just like, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting into a relationship right now. I'm just not. I just need to take some time to, like, for myself, to see what it is that I really want, what I really need is what I'm getting from you guys here. Okay, that's Cancer energy there. Libra with the Four of Swords energy. Let's see what's coming in for them. Eight of Wands. Ah, uh, I feel like this person is either they are communicating with um someone or somebody's trying to communicate with them they're asking for it though is the thing but i think honestly what i'm getting here is that this person's trying to get your attention and they're trying to get your attention by accepting attention from other people okay it's what I'm getting here um, for some of you. And then for others of you, um, this person, I feel, will come in, will communicate to you if they haven't already. Because I'm getting the feeling that they kind of bom bombard you with messages here. Even though they're trying to move on, move away, get stability in their life, you know, looking for a relationship, not accepting anything less, but yet still, here they are, they're concentrating on you guys and probably sending messages to you, um, traveling to you, um, coming to your house even, you know, that sort of thing is what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see what's blocking you guys here. What's blocking Aquarius? The Knight of Pentacles. Mm. I get the sense that you know you kind of want want to work things out. I think that it's just kind of been kind of crazy for you, is what I'm getting. Um, the energy's been kind of crazy for you, so it's like you're really just trying to, you know, map your steps, um, make sure you're making the right choice here, decision here, um, to figure out if you want to fight for this. Okay. I don't think that you are really solid in a decision to fight for this. I think right now you're kind of tired and you just want like a breather from this. So I think maybe, um, you know, this is saying that you guys are moving kind of slow for this person because we see that they are in a hurry here. They, they want to lock something in, something that's solid here. Okay. So maybe it's that you guys are taking your time what the blockage is here. 
Let's see what their blockage is. What is their blockage? The Nine of Wands. Um, not really taking some time to like breathe for a second, okay? It's like they're wanting to go, 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 go and um, continue on. And you guys have not even worked out, you know, your differences here. It's like they just want to continue on. Let's do this. They are moving too fast, I feel. They want too much too fast is what I'm getting here, okay? But I do see under the bottom of the deck that, um, you know, <laughs> what's blocking them is their own awareness here. This person's not very aware of other people's feelings either. They just know what they want. It's like this is this is the self, this is the ego, okay? Ego driven. They know what they want and that's just it, okay? Let's see what your advice is here. That one wanted to flip over there. Look at this. For you to be aware. Both of you have the sun. For you to be aware of yourself, um, your actions. What it is that you truly want? If you want this person, um, then, you know, some negotiation may be beneficial, you know. Um, just to kind of become aware of yourself and how you do things and, and be mindful of other people, this person as well, and what it is that they want. And can you guys actually compromise and come to um, an agreement, a decision here? Because it seems like you both have, you know, you have feelings for this person. But I think maybe they are a little too much for you at times. They're a little too fiery is what I'm getting here. And probably pop up at the mouth a lot, okay? Let's see what the advice is for them. Three of Wands. Oh my gosh. I think it's to wait for you. Honestly, to slow down. Just take a breather. Take a breather and just wait. Wait. Because I feel like this person's probably pushing you a little too much. Is what the thing is. It's like, you know, use a law of attraction. You don't have to be so active all the time. Put your intentions out there and just wait, okay? Because I feel like they've already put their intentions out there and shoved them right in your face. <laughs> is what I'm getting here, okay? To so just stop, okay? Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. The Seven of Cups. Hmm. I think there's some confusion going on here. Um, you guys are really not certain whether or not this person is the one that they can really, you know, be the one that could, you know, you could have the ultimate happiness with. Okay. And you're kind of looking at your options here, I feel, coming up. Because you're not sure about them. Let's see what their outcome is here. The Ace of Wands, maybe they will find someone that, you know, is going to give them what it is that they want, like, right now. Because I feel like they're looking for something, like, right now. And it's almost like they are, they will get involved with someone if they hear the right thing, okay? And, and it's almost like to show you up is what I'm getting, okay? Because if you have denied them, it's like, well, if you don't want me, you know, someone else will kind of thing. So I feel like they will start over. And I feel like they will get in a relationship very soon, whether it's with you or with someone else, honestly. Okay, because I see you exploring your options here. And not really, you know, allowing any ultimatums to influence your decision one way or the other. All right, guys, lots of fire here, fire and air. This person probably is hot-tempered as well, very hot-tempered. So we have Aries, Leo, Sag here, um, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, or Libra energy. I feel strongly in your reading, okay? So I will be speaking with you guys soon.